All right, friends, let's start with super 50 question number two. Let us just read through this question and write down the basic data. Mutual funds, again an RTP May 23 question. All right. So here, if you read through it, the first date is 1-4-2015. Achaya, part 5 is already covered. See, if you look over here, what is part 5? Find out the price when it's a plus 200 or a minus 200 under duration method. That is a volatility method and intrinsic value method. That is what we found out over here. See, this answer is as per the fifth requirement only, Achaya. Okay, right. Already done. So, the opening date is 1st April 2015. Let me come down. Down they have given a table. Okay. This fellow has invested in two schemes. One is a dividend plan and the other one is a bonus plan. Now down they have given the investment, average profit and average yield. Friends, the beautiful part about this question is they haven't given you how much is the dividend rate and how much is the bonus rate that is already available or the NAV for the dividend plan and NAV for the bonus plan. So now we have to do a reverse working to go and find out the NAV as per dividend plan and the NAV as per what? As per the bonus plan. So shall we start off with that part now, friends? All right. So let me come over here. I'll write down working note number two. Determination of closing NAV and units. This I can find out from the data that is given over here. For example, down if you come, they have given the investment. They have given the average profit. From this, can I find out the closing value of investment? Once I get the closing value of investment, I can find out the number of units also because closing NAV is also available over there. Am I right? I'll show you that now. Particulars. Dividend plan and the other one is what? Bonus plan. Now tell me, how much is the investment amount that you have over here? 9,20,000. And what about the bonus plan? 10 lakhs. What about the profit? You have 27,748.6. That is for one year. The entire life of this bond is how much? Not bond, mutual fund is how much? 5 years into 5. 1,38,743. Okay, and what about the second one? Six point four percent. Do you get the number as three lakh twenty thousand? <coughs> okay. From this, can I go and find out the closing value of investment? How much will that be? Ten lakh fifty-eight seven forty-three. Thirteen lakh twenty. Now, from this, we can also find out the closing NAV. What is the closing NAV that you have? 49 and 44. From this, can I do a backward working and can I find out the closing number of units, friends? Okay. And here you will get the number as 30,000 units. Excellent. So I'll give in bracket the formula C divided by D. Such presentation is very, very crucial, friends. Here you can also give A plus B. Everybody clear with this part? Okay. So like this, you get the closing value of NAV and you get the closing number of units also. Everybody clear with this part? Once I get this, now I have to do a reverse working to solve this equation. So I'll take a fresh page now. Working note number three, dividend plan. Okay, here you have date, dividend. All right, then I'll write down opening units. From this, we can find out the dividend amount. 
NAV units reinvested based on this you have the closing number of units now i'll write down first april 2015 that is the first date i don't know any information about that second date when is the dividend issued 31 3 what is the third date 31 3 2018 okay next date is what 31 3 2019 and the last date is what 31 3 2020 now the dividend rate if you look at it 31 3 2017 you have a 12% dividend 2018 you have a 10% dividend and 19 you have a 15% dividend all right and then based on this they have also given the corresponding nav of these particular periods i'll just draw a line like this All right. Now here, what is the closing NAV that you have? Thirty-one three twenty twenty. What is the closing number of units that we already have found out over here? Twenty-one thousand six zero seven. Am I right? Okay. So we can start off from here, and on this date there is no dividend. Correct. So if there is no dividend, no units reinvested, that will not come. Forty-nine is the NAV. This will not come. Opening units also will be the same twenty one six zero seven because nothing else is coming in between. I hope you are clear with this part. So here again it will be how much? It will be twenty one six zero seven. Now here we have the NAV thirty one three two thousand nineteen. The NAV is how much? Forty five. Okay. Then you have thirty one three zero eighteen. You have an NAV of how much? Forty six. Then two thousand seventeen. You have forty eight. 2018 is 46 2019 is what 45 and 2015 it is not given with us all right now here there will be some opening units plus some dividend amount all right i think that is 15% of the opening nav divided by the closing nav should give you 21607 so i have to go and do a workings for this so i'll write down the next working note heading units as on 31 3 formula will be sum opening units plus the dividend amount divided by what divided by closing nav this should sorry divided by yes the closing nav will give you what closing units wait have i made some mistake over here <coughs> nav is there a difference 2018 it is not 46 it is 50 is it okay okay i think i have made a mistake there thank you for correcting me so this is 50 right okay all right all right thank you thank you for correcting me there so now let us check opening units i don't know dividend amount will be some opening units into 10 rupee face value we are assuming 10 rupee is the face value because nothing else is given over there All right, multiplied by how much is the dividend rate over here? Is it fifteen percentage divided by what is the closing NAV that you have? Forty five. This would be equal to what? This would be equal to the closing number of units that we already know is twenty one six zero seven. Or I'll take the opening units as x. So x plus can I say it is going to be one point five x divided by forty five is equal to twenty one six zero seven. Am I right? Okay. Or in other words, ah, uh, what I'll do is I'll make it as forty five x plus one point five zero x whole divided by forty five is equal to twenty one six zero seven. So it will be twenty one six zero seven into forty five. Right. So I'll just put forty six point five zero x is equal to nine lakh seventy two three one five. Therefore, x is equal to Twenty thousand nine hundred and ten units. Is everybody clear with this part? Now I will have to go back and write down that over here. Twenty thousand nine hundred and ten units over here. All right. This into ten into fifteen percent would be thirty one three sixty five. 
डिवाइडेड बाय 45 वुड गिव यू 697 यूनिट्स 697 प्लस 29 जीरो टेन फाइव डू एक्सेक्टली इट विल टैली इज एवरीबॉडी क्लियर विद दिस पार्ट नाउ दिस 29 जीरो टेन विल कम बैक ओवर हियर ओके सो वंस दिस कम्स बैक ओवर हियर व्हाट आई विल डू नाउ सेम वे आई हैव टू डू इट फॉर दिस पीरियड आल्सो दैट इज 31 3 2018 units on 31 3 2018 so here again the formula would be x plus uh, 10% is now right so 10 rupee to 10% will be 1 rupee into opening units 1x divided by 50 rupees should be equal to how much what is the closing units 20910 okay so it will be 51x divided by 50 is equal to 20910 so 51x is equal to Ten lakh forty-five thousand five hundred. Therefore, X will turn out to be twenty thousand five hundred units. Excellent. So I'll go back over here. Twenty thousand five hundred units. <coughs> so here you will get twenty thousand five hundred divided by fifty will give you four hundred and ten. That is twenty thousand nine hundred ten. Now same way we have to do for one more period, correct? That is thirty one three two thousand seventeen units as on thirty one three two thousand seventeen. Again the formula would be x plus what is the dividend there? Twelve percent is it? It will be one point two zero x divided by sorry what was the closing in AV? Forty-eight should be equal to what was the closing units that we got? Twenty thousand five hundred. So it will be forty-nine point two zero x is equal to nine lakh eighty-four thousand. So x is equal to nine lakh eighty-four thousand divided by forty-nine point two. Do you get the answer as twenty thousand units? Okay. All right. So you get the answer as twenty thousand units. So here you would get the number as twenty thousand. On twenty thousand into ten into twelve percentage will be twenty four thousand divided by forty eight will give you five hundred units. So here you will get twenty thousand. Nothing comes over here. Opening units will also be how much twenty. So, friends, like this, we have successfully completed doing the dividend plan. Is everybody clear with this part? Can I go to the next question now? Okay. Opening number of units we have got. You want the opening NAV? Am I right? The issue price is what we are supposed to work out now. Correct. That we will do it now. Okay, we will do it here itself. That I think we'll do it in the end. Let's find out the same thing for bonus plan. Then we'll do it together. Okay, that's better. Now I'll write down the next working note heading. Bonus plan. Okay. So here again I'll write down date. You will have opening units. Based on the opening units, you will have the bonus ratio. Okay. So based on the bonus ratio, we will have the bonus units, and we will have the closing number of units. All right. What are the dates available for bonus now? I'll start with one four two thousand fifteen. Then we'll have thirty one twelve two thousand sixteen. Okay. Then you'll have thirty one twelve two thousand eighteen. <coughs> Then you'll have thirty one three twenty twenty. Okay. Now, what are the opening units? We don't know. We know the closing units over here. I think it was thirty thousand. Am I right? <coughs> All right. I'll just copy paste the bonus units. One is two four. That will come on thirty one three. This one right. Okay. Thirty one twelve two thousand eighteen. It will be one is two five. One is two five. And the last one over here. It will not come. Okay. So here no bonus. Nothing. So the opening units will also be how much? 
30,000. Here 30,000. So 30,000 is coming here. Some opening plus that into 1 by 5 should give you the closing units. Correct? So if I'm not wrong, 1 by 5 on opening will be 1 by 6 on closing. You have learned that logic. Using that logic, I'll get 5,000 over here. And here I would get 25,000. Do you remember 1 by 5 on cost will be 1 by 6 on selling price? 1 by 4 on cost will be 1 by 5 on selling price. Okay. Keeping that concept, we can do it. Or you can actually use the equation also. Opening x, you can do it like this also if you want. x plus x into 1 by 5 is equal to 30,000. You will get the same answer. Okay. Now, once I get this, I'll go over here. 25,000. 1 is to 4. So, 1 by 4 on opening will be 1 by 5 on the closing. Again, I'll get 5,000. So, here it will be how much? 20,000. Here it will be 20,000. Okay. Bonus is not given. Bonus ratio is also not given. Opening will be how much? 20,000. So, friends, I think we got 20,000 for both dividend plan as well as for the bonus plan. Is it? Okay. Once we get this from this, what I can do? I can go and write down the final one. Issue price particulars. You have dividend plan. And then you have what? Then you have the bonus plan. Am I right? Okay. So now I'll start with the first thing which is called as the investment. Now everyone tell me how much is the investment that we have over here? 9 lakh, 20 thousand and 10 lakhs. Okay. What about the opening units? How much is the opening units that you have over here? 20,000, 20,000. Okay. Based on this, can we find out the issue price? Do you get the answer as 46 for the first one? And you get the answer as 50 rupees for the second one. Am I right, friends? All right. So we are done with super 50 question number two also.